Well, good morning, folks. This is JW, Stevens Family Outdoors at Traditional Homestead. And you probably guessed it. These uh, Cornish Cross are ready to go in the freezer. We're getting ready to process them here. There's half of what we're going to do today. There's a dozen in there and another dozen down in the pen. Then over in the, the barn, we have another 35 to do in a couple of weeks. So I want to take you uh, here and just show you the equipment we have. This is what we have here. Okay, right here we have a cone that I um, manipulated into a, a hugging cone for the chicken to put it down in head first, reach through that hole and get its head and let it calm down and go to sleep. Here's my little station here that we clean um, our wild game like squirrels and rabbit but today we're going to be uh, removing the intestine and everything out of the chickens right here and that blue granite container is going to hold the uh, chicken livers the hearts and the gizzards then over here we have our dipper we're going to dip the chickens in the temperature right now Oh, that water is 147 and a half. I'm going to try that. See how that works for about 20 seconds or so or 30. Then after that, we're going to put them in this uh, chicken plucker. And um, for about 15, 20 seconds and get the feathers off. And of course, the feathers are going to go down in this old swimming pool. And yes, I did cut a little hole down in down in there for the water to uh, escape but not the feathers and after we take them out of the plucker we're going to bring them over here to this galvanized washing tub and uh, we're going to dip them in there until I get uh, this full of chickens and then we'll take them over to the uh, table over there to remove the insides so we're going to get started Lane is in there trying to <laughs> trying to catch these Cornish crosses. He's a little scared of them for some reason. Hurry up, Lena. I'm trying to get this one that's stuck in between. Hurry up. We We've been here over five minutes and she's got three so far. Well, what do you know? Okay, what you want to do, you want to have your water about 150 degrees, and all it takes is, um, if you can pluck the wing feathers out real easy, then they're, they're ready. Not yet. reason this water looks dirty is we've already done half a dozen. Here we go. Now we're going to stick it in the plucker. Okay.
Lena gets it out, cleans off the feet. Cleans all the pin feathers that didn't come out. Hold it up and show you, Daddy. What was that? All the pin, 15 seconds in here. That's what happens when you get the temperature right, just perfect right. If you get it too hot, if you get the water too hot, then you're going to rip the skin and everything when you when you put them in the plucker. If you don't get it hot enough, feathers aren't going to come out. All right. What's the reason we put them in this water? To cool them down. Cool them down. It gets correct. them cooled down to room temperature. Their temperatures are up there about 100 degrees. This section of water gets them down to the temperature out here, or maybe a little lower. Here, pluck your feathers out of there. And uh, then what I'll do when we get these other three, other four uh, taken care of, then I'll go ahead and uh, take, start taking these out underneath of my work table there and uh, I'll go ahead and remove the entrails out of them and then rinse them off and then we'll put them in that big tub behind the camera right there that it's over with. It's full of ice and water and then we'll leave them in there. Uh, all 12 of them will fit in there, believe it or not, with the water and the ice in there. And then we'll take them inside and uh, later on this evening and bag them. Hey folks, uh, today we're here, uh, we just uh, butchered 12 more of the chickens and uh, I'd like to go ahead and show you how I removed the entrails out, uh, out of them and the process that we do. So if you shine down, first thing that we do is remove everything that we don't want. Uh, that would be the neck, cut that off, and that makes it a lot easier whenever you're packing it in the um, bags. Okay, next thing we do is I go, see right here, this is an oil gland, and uh, we don't want that, so what we go do here is we cut that tail off just once you don't get into the the anus all right having done that we flip it on its back bend the leg down and we just go right here you slice through you don't cut through any bone at all and you cut the feet off some people eat the feet not this family Okay, having done that, I go up here, I'll pull this loose meat, and I'll make a slit in that so that I can get what's known as the crawl, get it loose from the skin so that whenever we pull back here, it'll just come out. Now we haven't fed these get out of here beat we haven't fed these chickens for the, for the last 24 hours so they should be empty now another thing you want to do is right here you want to pull this skin up stick your light knife through and cut it make sure you don't get in there and bust the gut once you do that you stick your fingers in under the breastbone and you pull up Okay, now what I do, got a little bit of stuff here. What I do is I take my left hand, if you're, I'm right handed, but my left hand tends to go in better. 
and I push it forward all the way up to the neck and then I reach down until I find the esophagus you'll feel it once you do find that you just pull and everything comes out as you see here here comes the esophagus and there's the crawl I was talking about having done that everything else will just pull right on out like this and what I do is I'll cut down each side of the vent cutting the vent out and there you have it now the bees are hungry today there's one more thing you need to do and right in here if you look up in there you'll see the lungs that are down inside the rib cage cavity okay now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stick my finger in and I'm gonna dip until I can get that lung tissue out of that cavity like this there's one just take your finger and be careful there's the other one now having done that this chicken is totally field dressed right out inside of here and I'll get the camera just to turn around right there at that big pot. Now this pot is full of ice water. So we just dunk them in there. And go on for the next one. And that's how I do it. Okay, now this is how we harvest the heart put it in a pan the gizzard pull the fatty stuff off and then I cut high I cut into the gizzard here so as not to get any of the intestines out and then we'll clean that gizzard when we get in the house okay now here is the liver and what you want to do when you harvest the liver is make sure whatever you do that we don't bust the bile. If you got to lose a little bit of liver to keep from busting the bile, by all means do so. And the heart has already been put in the pan and we put the rest of the gut pile in the bucket to feed the chickens a little bit later and that's how we uh, harvest our uh, internal organs to eat okay folks <clears throat> as you know we butchered uh, some of our chickens today and uh, we're getting ready now to put them in the freezer this is what they look like and I'm very very happy with that plucker now what we're supposed to do is stick these in head first without the head <laughs> neck first it's pretty big chicken here yep the nice bags. I'm trying to get this neck area down in the corner. Then you want to try to squeeze all the air out that you can. As you do that, I'm going to stick this straw down here in the corner like this. Leave a little bit of the straw stick out. After you push all the air out that you can. And then twist. Okay, a couple twists ought to be enough. Now the direction said 
heat the water up. Let's see, get some more air out of that. Heat the water up to 190, so we've got it about 180 now, and I'm gonna go with that. Stick this down in there. That is hot. Hear the air leaving? Can you pull the straw out? There you go. Then put the zip tie that they furnished, and these zip ties are awful small. I'm going to have to get a pair of pliers probably for the next one. Okay, and there we go. Ready for the freezer. Okay folks, here's uh, what a chicken looks like when you put them in these bags and drop them in the water. So let me explain to you one more time. It's very, very, very important that your water is between 180 and 190. So make sure you have a thermometer to check the temperature of your water. Then you have your bags and your zip ties and your straw. Your straw goes down after your chicken goes in the bag. You wrap it, the bag around and stick the straw in halfway down into the empty body cavity and then you twist the top of the bag around your straw and zip tie it shut. And then you squeeze before you put it in the water all the excess air out that you can and then you drop it in for about four to five seconds and that's what you get right there and this is one of the small ones probably about four pounds Now this is the liver. This is very good. But what you want to do right here, this is what I call the bile. B-I-L-E. And you do not want to bust that. If you bust that, you just throw the rest of the liver away. Like that. See how it did? So it goes in the trash.